Hi y'all, welcome to my humble homestead and garden side chat. So today I'm just going to talk about different ways I've been doing some weedless gardening. Um, I'm going to go through some of my gardens that I'm in the middle of doing and I'm just going to show you some different things I'm in the process of. Everything's a process with me because it is just myself and I also work full time. So I just want to be an encouragement to you to let you know that if you are by yourself or if you live in an apartment or in a home without a yard or if you just want to try to garden and maybe you know you're not very skilled or you're you don't have a lot of time these are some ways that I'm trying gardening myself so we got a lot of rain again over this week and we had high winds I got these two rose bushes here um, this one here and this one here so I actually I'll post the names of them because I left the signs in the house um, and they had gotten blown over by the wind so I knew that today I had to put them in this here is going to be one of my flower beds and herbs and down there I'm going to show you in a minute I'm setting up for more herbs over there I'm putting some mulch and things down and doing my layer gardening they call it lasagna gardening though so that it's it's no get no dig or no tilling so this is one way that I'm doing the weedless gardening and I will talk about that there these videos I've been doing in different processes so I'm gonna piece them all together just because I've either not felt good or I've been busy we've been going to the lake house and today what I did was I got my rose bushes in and I mowed my yard and then I'm gonna work and I just wanted to show you this little video so I got these rose bushes in here so for the rose bushes all I did honestly is it was just grass I just dug up the holes deep enough uh, planted the rose bushes in there I put some um, compost in there and some I had some uh, and then I had gotten some organic warming soil and I put a little bit of that in there and the rest I just re put the soil that was around it um, and so those are the two rose bushes I did then I put some hay straw straw because it's dead hay straw around it and then mulch on top of that just to kind of keep the moisture in and to ke keep kill the grass from growing there so that's how I did my rose bushes now over here this is my finished product of what I'll show you the this has I have some herbs in here I have some chamomile here and I have some English lavender up there I put some yarrow seeds and I put some flower seeds over here let's get this little dandelion out of there and to see if the seeds will come up um, right here so I have some different flower seeds here and um, yeah so I'm just gonna see if how this does here so I will show you over here how I do the lasagna gardening this right here, all this big patch here, I'm just going to mulch over it. It's right in front of my little electrical panel, so I'm not going to dig there. So how I started this was, this was all just weeds and grass, just like this. And the little daycare kids are going to the park. <laughs> so what I did was I took and I put the boxes down, like I've done in the back, just the plain boxes got them wet make sure all the plastic and the tape is off of them and then after that I put some older soil you know just the stuff that I had in buckets I had in the five gallon buckets here put that in there and then I put just a little bit of the straw over it because you know we're wanting to layer so, and then I also took some of my compost that I just had in the kitchen so I had some you know, cauliflower that had gone bad, some, I just had some rhubarb tops because I had taken the rhubarb and made something with it for my neighbor's rhubarb. And just some of the compost that was in the, 
in the kitchen and I just threw that down just to have a layer for the worms to work the soil. This here is just what I dug up from the roses. So when I get it back out here, I'm gonna take the grass off and just break up that soil. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm not finished here because I have to work and I didn't have time and um, doing the rose bushes and mowing my yard, I personally ran out of gas myself. <laughs> so it happens. So just to let you know, you know, you can do gardening in phases or you don't have to do, I'm, you know, nearly as much as I am. I'm just gonna put all herbs over here. Um, so what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to take um, some compost and well, actually I'm going to put a little more mulch down because what I did before is I put the mulch under here. You can see some of the mulch coming up through the dirt. And then I'm going to put layers of um, dirt, soil, potting soil, and then that's what I'm going to grow in. So that's how I do the layering or lasagna. And then... Um, using the compost and the dirt the worms will break up all the stuff underneath but having the um, layer of cardboard underneath and then putting the layer of straw and the mulch in there it should help kill off all that grass and weeds underneath and then that should help you know the weeds from coming back so then just keeping on top of it you know just like this here seeing a little bit of a little bit of a weed come through and then I'll just you know pull it out once in a while staying on top of the few that come through that should really keep it pretty weedless you know we, we still have a little bit of weeds once in a while but not you know tons so that's how we do the lasagna gardening and then I just I bought a little wood little wood little fancy thing to go around it but I'm gonna wait until I get everything over here finished so yeah so that's gonna be my flower bed and herb garden now I'm gonna walk back to and just show you where I haven't really done much with with my container gardens but I am gonna show you oh here actually I'll show you the two grapevines that I put in my, my neighbor's mowing now. It's funny, once one of us mows, then the rest of us mows. <laughs> so, but we go to the lake house on the weekend, so I have to do what I can. So here's one grapevine here that I put in, and then here's another one. This is another one of those grass things that I'm gonna break up over there. So here's another grapevine I put in, and then I just built this trellis because I have two more grapevines coming and I'm gonna dig all that up and put it there. And then when I'm done, I'll mulch around there. But what I really want is I want these grapevines to grow up. My deck is still full of plants. I need to get in, so sorry about that. I want the grapevines to grow up here. And then when the, you know, I want the kids to be able to come out and just pick grapes. So I thought that would be kind of fun. So anyway, so those are the two grapevines that I have in. And now let me walk back over here. All right, so here's my black tarp weedless gardening. You can see I definitely have some weeding to do here, quite a bit actually. So the thing is we got to keep on top of these little holes. And I will probably come out here tomorrow and get this taken care of. See some little bok choy over there growing. I did plant some seeds. Oh, my little peas are coming up over here. Let's see here, so my little peas. But anyway, so yeah, so tomorrow that will be what I need to do, is come out here and weed this. Oh my gosh, I see some little melons are coming up over there. And then I did buy some things to make trellises for these in here. So after I weed it really good, I think I'm gonna build some trellises. So yeah, so that's fun. So that, that needs some work, but like I said, it's me and it's a process, but that'll be my my uh, my job tomorrow. And then, let's see here. So in this one, I have some turnips. Um, let's see if we see any here. Any turnips? Here's one little turnip <laughs> right there. Um, yeah, looks like there's one little turnip. So this one I'm just kind of babying to see what will happen. I may plant turnip somewhere else because I'm not sure how it's going to do in this one. Now these, these, here's something too, very inexpensive. I made 
these two garden boxes out of plain cardboard boxes. These are just, I get so many ship boxes. And I just took the construction grade hefty duty plastic bags and I wrapped them up in there. So that is another way, super inexpensive way you can make some garden boxes. Cause you know, they cost a couple hundred dollars if you purchase them. And this I believe will last at least one, maybe two seasons. And then I can just transfer the dirt into something else that um, I will get. So I did, I put the cardboard on the bottom, layered it with dried leaves and sticks, and I did the layering in there. I don't have anything planted in there yet, but I will. This, these two um, are just little ones that I have and I put mulch on the bottom and potting soil. This one here I can show you because I just have the mulch. I haven't gotten the potting soil back yet. Here I'm growing a tomato plant in a five gallon food grade bucket. These buckets, you can go to your local bakeries, um, you can go to your delis, um, call them ahead of time and just say, hey, do you have any, uh, any buckets? They throw them out, they give them away. Now, tell them you don't have to wash them out. You can just come spray them out with the hose real good. Um, and you can get all these buckets for free. A lot of people, they just buy them, but you can ask your delis and your uh, bakeries. I get them, you know, at the Hornbacher's Bakery. They're, they use them for frosting because they use them for frosting their cakes. And they're great. I'm gonna plant some more tomatoes in them and just use the tomato uh, trellis. So, this I don't have anything in yet. Those are just weeds. <laughs> and then here I have some hot poblano peppers that are coming up. Some salsa peppers that are coming up. You don't see any California peppers coming up yet. Those need to get planted. Um, this is another growing bag. Now these are not my favorite, but I just bought them and I have them because these disintegrate. So I they last about one season but I'll probably throw, you know, I don't know, something in it, like a tomato plant or, you know, something. And let's see. So, but I think I, I'm gonna try to do as much as I can in these beds. I'm excited. Oh, look here, we got stuff growing. And my, my little tags wore off. <laughs> so that's happened sometimes. I think the black marker works the best. <sighs> so, I'm going to have to use, there's this app where you can take a picture of the plant and it'll tell you what it is. Because <laughs> some of these I honestly don't know what they are anymore. What I planted here. But anyway, so those are growing good. These I have carrots and onions. So those back there are onions, carrots. Oh, these I think are beets. So yeah, it's just super exciting to see stuff come up. So that is my garden tour for the day. Oh, and this I still have a lot to take care of I got to pull all these weeds out and put but I did right between the fencing I thought I would take a little chance don't know how they're working out I was gonna plant some sweet potatoes and we'll see how they're doing I don't know I think I'm gonna have to plant the sweet potatoes somewhere else because I certainly have a lot I have a lot from the ones I grew in the jar so I thought I'm just gonna see what happens if I plant them right there but maybe I'll dig up back there by the fence and plant them. So see, gardening is just kind of, you know, learn as you go, but I'm super excited to have all this fresh food. So that is how I'm doing the weedless gardening, except for these I need to, these I did not really take much care underneath. You know, I, I should have tilled a lot more. So that was a learning experience. <laughs> so I have to really work on those these little dandelion weeds around these holes so that's my job tomorrow all right and oh there's my bird feeder I need to add some water to my bird bath and get that going the birds have been eating that I need to fill up the bird food so yeah all right well thanks so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you like and share and I will keep sharing more process as the garden grows have a great day. Be blessed.